Welcome to the homework for Lesson 9. This is Grade 2, Module 3. Write your name first. Write the total amount of money shown in each group. So here's Group A. How much money is there? Well, we have... These are 10 frames. Right? So we have 5 group columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there's two sets of them. So there's five here, five there. That's ten hundreds, which is a thousand dollars. Comma goes there. Hint about writing uh, n large numbers with commas. Write the number first, then write the comma after you have all the digits written down. Now we have ten tens. Ten tens. That's a hundred dollars. No commas for three digit numbers. And ten ones is ten dollars. You can count them all. And now here we have some tens, some hundreds, and some ones together. And we could bring back our old friend the HTO chart for this one. And let's see, we have two ones. And one, two, three tens, and the rest are hundreds. Then there's five of those, so there's our number. Show one way to count from 82 to 512. Please don't count this entirely by ones. It's going to take you all day, and it's going to be an incredible amount of work. And you'll probably make a mistake in there somewhere. We're going to start at 82. And here's my strategy that the one that we teach in school is you start counting up by ones. And then you count when you get to a 10. And 10s are the numbers we say when we count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Hundreds of 10. Then 100, 10, 120, and so on. Those are all 10s. So when you get once you get to one of those 10s, then you're going to count on by 10. And then when you get to 100, it would be like 100, 200, 300, those are hundreds. When you get to 100, then you're going to count by hundreds. And if you can't count any more hundreds, then you're going to have to count by tens and then down, down to ones again. So we'll, and we're going to do all of that in this. So here's how, here's how it goes. 82. We're going to count by ones. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Now that's a 10, so I can count by 10s now, 90, 100. And now I can count by hundreds, 100, 200. I know that looks like a zoo, not 200. There we go, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I went too far. I have to stop at 512. So I'm going to race at 600. So I can't keep going by hundreds there. I'm going to have to go by tens. So I can, I can go a 10, 510. And now I can't go to 520 because I have to stop at 512. So now I need just a couple ones here. 511, right? It's 10, 11, 512 just like that there's other ways you can do it you can start off by adding hundreds if you want at a time uh, and then you'll have to count up tens and ones or however you want to do it but this is the way that most people find it the easiest number nine homework still going use each number line to show a different way to count from 580 to 994. So like I just mentioned in the last one, there's different ways to do it. I'm going to start with the easiest way first. Now we're using number lines. 580. All right, to 994. Well, they, we're already at a 10 here. 80 is a 10. So I'm going to go 10, 5, 9, 
And you have to write that when you do these number line counting uh, puzzles, what you have really have to do is you have to you have to have this. You have to label how big the hop is between the numbers, and you have to label the numbers where your hops land. You have to have both. Uh, ten more I can do. And that will get me to 600. Now I can count by hundreds. We'll make this look bigger since it we're going 100 here. 700 is the next 100. Then I can do another 100. That's 800. And then here I'm, remember, I can go a whole other 100 here. Boom. Plus another 100. 900 and we're using <coughs> we're using just tens we're only doing hops of tens ones and hundreds we're not going we're not going to go because otherwise we could just go, we could just do this and that's not much of a puzzle is it so <laughs> we just we just write down whatever the difference is uh, so we're not doing that. We're just we're going by ones, tens, and hundreds. Now to go to ninety-four from here. Nine. Now I, I need another ninety-four, so I could go by tens here and have another ten. Nine hundred ten. Nine hundred twenty. 930 and I gotta keep going 940 950 and sometimes this happens I'm gonna run out 960 I'm gonna make another little line down here so I can keep going right I left off at 960 60 mm -hmm. 970, 980, 990, and now I need 991, 992, and my, my new line isn't long enough, so here, I'm going to erase the end of it, oops, I'm going to erase the end of it, I'm going to make the whole thing just make it longer. 993, 994, and I'll put my plus ones here. Done. Okay, so that's one way. And if you've done this, like I just did it, if you did the same way I did, and you're like, man, that's a lot of work. There has to be an easier way to do it than that. That's a lot of tens and a lot of ones. Well, look at how many tens there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, there's 11, 10, so I should have been able to just do 100 instead of 10 of those 10s, right? It would, be, it would have been a lot easier and faster. So that's the other way we're going to do it. Let's start it for the 580, and let's just go with hundreds. 100 would make 680. 780, and that's 100. Right, there's another 880, 980, now we just need one more 10, 990, and we're already at 990, 990, and now we just need four ones, right? One, two, three. Four, 991, 992, 993, and there's the 994. And if you needed to, you could make this line longer, just like I did with the others. There. Uh, so the, uh, the idea between these two is that 
Uh, there's no one way that's always the easiest way, depending on what the numbers are. And that's how mental math is. And that's what we're doing is we're writing down our mental math. Depending on what the numbers are, different ways may be more efficient than others. Number four, draw and solve. Got to draw R, D, W, W. Read the problem carefully. Don't just look at the numbers and add the numbers or subtract the numbers. Uh, but you're going to read the problem. And then we're going to draw a picture. And then, I mean, it's important the order that we do these things in. Draw is like we just need a graphic organizer to show what the numbers are, a labeled picture of some kind. It can be a number bond, a tape diagram, a math picture, some money. Uh, a lot of times drawing the picture will, will do a lot of the work for us because we can use the picture to, fi to figure out what the answer is. Uh, sometimes it's just helping us figure out whether we need to add or subtract. Julia wants a bike that costs $75. She needs to save 25 more to have enough money to buy it. How much money does Julia already have? So you could draw a tape diagram for this, or you could draw the money. I'm going to draw the money. Uh, so the bike is $75, right? That's seven tens. A tape diagram might actually be easier than drawing the money, but I like drawing the money in this case. It's because I like drawing money. Five. Six. There's our seven tens. And uh, we need five ones. And all of this is the cost of the bike. She needs to save 25 more. So she needs to save 10, 20. This is how much more she needs to save. And we'll label this needs to save. Now we can just count. How much the money does she already have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50 dollars. So here's our number sentence. It's a really easy one. A little bit long though. Four tens we need another 10 equals 50. Julia already has $50. And the dollar sign is already written for us here, so we don't need to write it. <laughs>